Hey, what's going on, Sages? It's Echo. For a long time now, I've been really wanting to review video games. But is this truly a review? No, it isn't. This is more like a first impressions on my thoughts and opinions on some of these betas, alphas, early access that's been coming out lately. And I've been on the hunt for some good ones. So let me know what you guys will think about this beta slash alpha slash early access that I'm going to be reviewing. Or, like I said, my early impressions. Now, let's categorize it like this. So, number one, is it easy for a new player to pick up and learn? Number two, how is the overall feel? Is the movements good? Is the input lag all right? How is the optimization? Number three, what kind of gamer is this for? Is this more for the casual? Not that it's a bad thing. Some people just play for the pure enjoyment or just don't have a lot of time on their hands. Is it for the hardcore slash competitive player base? And lastly, is the game fun? Do you enjoy it? Let's find out if I do. But mine's just one opinion. I want to know yours. And always guys, make sure you give proper feedback to any alpha, beta, or early access. Make sure that you are properly giving good feedback. That is very important. And that will be talked about into another video. But today, we're going to be talking about Quake Champions. First off, is it easy for a new player to pick up and learn? Yeah, it's pretty easy. It's the basic WSAD first person shooter. Has a little bit of a Overwatch-esque kind of play to it, but that's not a bad thing. All games are inspired by other games. But it has its own feel to it, very fast pace. Now, for any other new player, they should be able to pick this up and be able to understand the buttons and and just like every other game it's, it's easy to pick up really easy to learn there's miniature descriptions on each character and their uh, special abilities their traits and their um, I guess you would call them passives so it's really descriptive really understanding and they even have a miniature video that will actually show you what their abilities do now, let's talk about the overall feel. How's the movement? It feels pretty clean. The, it doesn't feel like there's really any input lag in any way, shape, or form. It feels like it runs very smoothly. As I said, though, it is very fast paced. So, I would discour discourage anybody from being able to play it if you don't like that really fast paced play style. However, if you're into that fast paced play style, Tongue twisters, wow. If you're into that, then this game would be for you. If you like the old feel of the old Quakes, this is for you. However, if you do not really enjoy the old feel of the old Quakes, that really fast paced play style, that uh, really quick reflexes and pinpoint accuracy, and also in some cases very predictive shots, then I would stay away if you're not into that. Now, let's talk about number three. What kind of gamer is this for? My personal opinion, it's probably going to be more for the casual player base. For people that want to be into more hardcore and competitive player base, the fact that you have to unlock certain champions through over time, that was going to set a lot of people, especially in the hardcore scene, off, considering that you're going to have to spend a lot of time just even unlocking the champions themselves. So, in my opinion, as I said, these are our opinions. Don't hang me for it. The casual player base is what's going to be targeted for this. But as I said, that is not a bad thing. It feels really good being able to just jump into a game and just have a good shoot 'em up game. Now, don't you guys just enjoy that sometimes? It's like sitting on the couch with your best friend and just being able to pick up the old school. Uh, I would say Wolfenstein 3D and just being able to just shoot things without really having a care in the world this is the kind of game that this is it's fun and that was covering the last one yes it is fun but is it for me unfortunately is not it is way too fast paced for my opinion it's for my play style 
and with my playstyle, it's way, way too quick. So, uh, hopefully, this has helped you be able to pick and choose what kind of game this is for you. But if you also want some live opinions, I do obviously do twitch.tv, as you can see in the footage. Feel free to stop by. Let's have a chat. It's a non judgmental channel, no toxicity. And on top of that, you get to have live chats about video games. Let me know what your favorite is. Also, let me know what your favorite is in the description down below. Please feel free to follow. Feel free to subscribe. I know we have to say those things, but it really does mean a lot to me. Thank you all for coming in and having this chat with me. If you want to catch me on Twitch, it's twitch.tv forward slash echo TGS. Hopefully, this helps you out a little bit. Look forward to this game. It is fun. Just not for me. Have a good day, guys.